Hey guys, hi, welcome to this particular video and in this video you're going to be learning how you can set up the Razorpay account which is going to be your payment gateway partner. You can find the link below which is rishi.store slash Razorpay. You can click on that button and you can get started with respect to uh, making the payment. So I'm just going to be showing you a quick demo on how uh, it's going to be appearing like so that uh, you and I, we both are on the same pages. And then rest of the videos you can find in Payment Gateway Secrets videos about Razorpay and other payment gateways as well. So in this video, we are setting up the uh, Razorpay account and you have to click on the link below. So it's rishi.store slash Razorpay. And on the screen, you can notice this is how it's going to be looking like. So here you have to put your work email. You can put any email that you basically use uh, dedicatedly all right so here let me just try and test out one more which is support at the rate so i'm just doing a testing here just uh and i'm gonna create like a dummy password i'm gonna create my account so it's gonna ask you for all of these it may or may not ask you because i've been signing up twice or thrice so it's asking for extra security features but it just won't ask next is gonna ask for unregistered business okay so if you are unregistered business, you can directly click on that, which is if you guys are freelancers or if you ha do not have a registered business yet, you can directly go this and you can go ahead after which you will have to do KYC documents. If you are a registered business and you fall into one of these categories, you will have to choose one. So I leave this up to you to decide which category you fall into. For example, let's say you are into unregistered business, you will go to next. It's going to ask for your name. It's going to ask for your contact number. So pretty standard processes and go ahead and create your account. So it's going, to, it's going to ask you whether you're unregistered business. If you are, if you're an individual, then just go for it. If you have a registered business with you, then go for uh, the kind of business that you're into, right? So if it's private limited, if it's partnership, public limited. So mine is private limited. I'm going to go here. Estimated monthly revenue, they're just asking for collecting data. It doesn't matter and they're gonna ask um, your name and details. So just go ahead and fill this right away and go to finish. Right, so now they're going to ask you to verify. You need to go and verify into your and check your uh, inboxes. So as you can see, I've received a mail. You can just verify your email and then it goes to the next page. <laughs> and we'll wait for it to load and the email has been verified right so just gonna refresh and enter so i'm just have to log in right now so this is done now they're going to be asking you to activate your account the form is not completed so you need to fill up uh, kyc documentation you need to give them your pan card if you have gst all that is uh, happens over here so business type is private limited you have to select the business category that you are into and you might be uh, you can select anything that you're part of let me check for myself yeah it's education subcategory could be e-learning billing label this is the brand name that your customers are familiar with it should either be similar to your register business name or your website name so whichever is common uh, it's better you go ahead with the name uh, that you want to put up okay so that people are familiar where they're going to pay and um, they're going to ask you uh, payment uh, website app URL. So if you have a website, go ahead with that. If you don't have, it's okay. Uh, just go click on we do not have either and save and go next. Now you have to submit your PAN card. You need to write your business name, uh, authorized signatory PAN card, PAN owner's name, address, PIN code, city and state. So you, you will have to submit and they will verify and get back to you within two to three business working days. Right. So this is a simple process that I wanted to take you through. Uh, you can finish it and get started with Razorpay and uh, that's about it. So I will see you in the next section.